and welcome back to my channel i know that the probably the first thing that you did when you saw this video was be like oh lord is she about to spill the tea it's not gonna be that kind of video guys um me and a couple of other girls um i don't know if y'all ran across them lovely jabri and gabby um are just trying to get some information put out there about tdcj where we're starting to recruit a whole bunch of new people and i know that as for me when i first started um to apply for tdcj the first thing that i did was look up tdcj and see you know what people had to say about it um so before we get into this video if you are new here hi my name is Brittany. i make sit down videos on this channel and ttc related videos on this channel and i <sighs> I don't even know where to start about my job. <laughs> um, I started about a year and two months ago now. And I work at the crane unit where it is a eight hour unit. First things first is we have eight hour units and we have 12 hour units. Um, the eight hour units, we work six days on, three days off. And the 12 hour units work four days on and four days off. Now, um, I know that if you're obviously in a Texas area um, and you applied, Hilltop and Hughes are 12 hour units. Hughes is an all mill unit and I was just not for, I was not for that life, especially with me being very new to the prison. Um, and then Hilltop was not um, getting people at the time that I applied. So I went ahead and I went to the eight hour unit of Crane. Um, how I found TDCJ is I was working at Starbucks and I was working at the Walmart Vision Center. And I was at a point in my life where I needed change and I needed something that was more stable, more reliable, good benefits um, for my wife and I. You know, we're, we're getting ready to start a family. Um, we were at a point where we were living paycheck to paycheck and it just, it, it got tough. Um, so I kept running into people at Walmart and at Starbucks that worked for TDCJ and they kept saying, you know, this, why don't you just try it out? You'll like it. And they all led me in the right direction. So what you'll first do when you apply for TDCJ is you'll, um, sign up to take the, um, entrance test. And it's just a simple test that you take. And if you pass that test, they'll get you they'll move you over to the next level which is where you'll do the pat test which is like where they you go through this like little course of like activities that like basically like your physical agility stuff um and you'll do all that make sure that you're good to go there and then that's when you will start the actual academy now my academy experience it was trying it really tested my abilities and all in good ways i've built bonds with some of my battle buddies that will never be broken um but during the academy you'll do a whole bunch of like um tests like about like the different positions in a prison you'll have your sergeants there that are just pretty much guiding you and getting you prepared for what to expect when you go onto your actual unit. Um, there you'll do um, the gun range where you'll learn about guns. Um, we did have to get pepper sprayed and gassed. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that day I was absolutely terrified. But 
when it comes to the pepper spraying and gas it it sounds terrifying but it's literally it's easy it it lasts for a second i know that that millisecond feels like it's forever but it's that day you and your you and your your academy buddies are going to become so close but but let me not get into that that little soapbox but um so you'll just pretty much learn how to be an officer on the units so once you get done with the academy which is about five to six weeks long because yeah you'll be doing the gun range you'll get the pepper spray and gas you'll get to um explore different units um you'll get your id there just a whole bunch of things that prepares you for the unit and a lot of um hands-on training once you're done with that you'll go to your actual assigned unit and then that's when you'll start your ojt process now ojt um normally is between six to eight weeks depending on if like i know from my case with my ojt we got stuck in a lockdown so that's like when all the inmates have to go in one area we check all their stuff so our ojt got a little bit extended but ojt you will get a lot more hands-on experience in the dorm settings um at seg which is like where they're behind the cells you'll get your dormitory settings and you'll just pretty much learn with another person obviously um like how to do your counts how to do things like that so um if you're worried about if they're just going to throw you into a dorm and be like huh <laughs> Now it's time for you to learn. They do not do it like that. Um, you are with someone um, the whole time during OJT when it comes to you not being in a classroom because you do have classroom time, but then you'll have your on the actual different satellite times. In those times, you are with someone until you're done with OJT. So um, once you do all that, um, I mean, as for me, like if, I feel like, like a lot of people put a big emphasis on you need to be strict, you need to be stern, you need to be like this with the people and I, I'm a firm believer in treating people how you want to be treated. Now obviously there are certain instances where you have to be a little bit more of a hard ass and put them in their place. but. You do not off the back need to sit here and be what we consider a electrician officer where um, you're just instantly going in there. You're getting everybody riled up because if you're going to be like that, you're going to have a rough day. Um, so just go in there, have a, you know, be, be be consistent. Like if if you're big about one thing, make sure you stay that way because the moment that you get a little bit lenient, it's it's when you fail um so just be stern but don't don't treat them like like they're animals because they're not they're, they're still human yeah they're there for a whole bunch of different not good reasons but in the same token you are by yourself with anywhere between 40 to 80 to 100 inmates by yourself and the last thing you want to do is sit there and be causing all this drama and you're the only one there by yourself. So just be smart about your surroundings, stay security minded and give them what they need and nothing more. You know, do not give them anything that they don't need. Give them what they need and you'll have a good day. Um, Again, to speak more about of like, like our like benefits and stuff, we do get health, dental, vision, we get retirement, we got 401k, we pretty much have everything. Um, the The rate that we get paid is salary. Um, we get paid once a month. Now, I know for me, I know when people think about that, they, they kind of freak out. Um, we do get paid once a month and it is a little bit difficult to get used to, especially if you're used to working like customer service and stuff, but it, it's something that, that, you know, it just, happens with time just try to you know get a little bit better with your money if you're not good with money i know i'm not at all i still struggle with it a little bit but you know as time goes i i get a lot better but um i mean as far as like you know working around the inmates being a an officer i i love it i feel like it's definitely 
changed and molded me in a better way. I am a type of person, I am a huge pushover, a huge pushover. And I feel like, especially, you know, since the academy and pretty much being forced out of my comfort zone, it's made me a stronger, better, leaner, healthier person. Um, and I, I love it for that. Now, is my day is always easy? Absolutely not. It's a prison. There is absolutely never a dull moment at a prison. Just an FYI. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's not hard. And I, if you're, like I said, if you're watching this because you're, you're considering working for TDCJ or you put in your application, you're getting ready to take your test. I commend you for taking that first step. We need people severely. Um, so again, if you ran across this video, comment below, um, how you're feeling about it. If you work there, if you're thinking about it, if you work at the same unit I work at, what if you work at a different unit, let me know. Um, I appreciate again, I appreciate you guys stopping and watching this video. Again, leave all kinds of comments. If you have any questions, ask below. I am an open book to a point. <laughs> um, I kind of like my job, so I don't like, I don't want to sit here and spread the tea, if you will. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, let me know if I didn't hit a certain topic that you're wanting a little bit more information about, let me know and I will see you guys next time. Bye.